Whenever you're in a business class, you usually have to write an essay saying what kind of leader are you. And this is usually the end of your course final exam or final essay that you have to write. So now that we've finished Richard Daft's book, The Leadership Experience, let me give you some pointers, some guidelines on how you can write an essay describing what kind of leader you are. Now, the first thing that I would talk about in my essay is whether I'm the kind of leader that focuses more on a concern results or a concern for people. And whenever you're writing these essays, you want to incorporate specific models or theories. You don't want to just go off of what you think. So I would incorporate this some way by saying, you know, the Blake Mouton Leadership Grid describes how a manager can focus on either results or concern for people. Based on this leadership grid, I would place myself as and then state whatever you are, whether you're more of a concern for people, concern for results, a team manager, authority compliance, but make sure you tie it back to the leadership grid. The second thing that I would talk about is what you focus on as a leader. So do you focus on controlling your followers? Are you more of an authoritarian leader? Do you direct and expect things to happen? Do you exercise participative leadership in which you Ask your employers to help give suggestions, help give feedback, but at the end of the day you still tell them what you want done and broadly speaking how they're going to accomplish it. Or are you more of a steward leader? Do you essentially hold your subordinates self-responsible, giving them the freedom of action to pursue their own courses while you are more of a guide, a facilitator? So that's the second thing I would talk about. Third, I would talk about I am the kind of leader that manages conflict in one of these styles. I manage conflict through asserting my own way and dominating the conversation. Or I manage conflict by accommodating others and frequently compromising on my own views and beliefs. Or do I collaborate with others where I'm assertive but I'm also willing to cooperate. Lastly, I would talk about how you assert influence as a leader. Are you a charismatic leader who gets people to follow you by your persona? Do you develop allies and build a coalition? Do you rely on reciprocity? Do you use rational persuasion? Do you focus more on hard or soft power? Do you focus more on rewarding good performance or punishing substandard performance? So those are, those are the four things that I would talk about. And as we go into my closing thoughts, it's a good essay question because it really gives you the ability to think who you are as a leader. But remember, you always want to tie this back to some concept in the book. Whether you're writing a short essay, five paragraphs, you could pick four, three of these and focus each paragraph on a specific one. If you're doing a longer paper, you could easily cover at least a page on each of those specific topics. So. We're wrapping up our journey through Richard Daft's book, The Leadership Experience. I've learned a lot. I've enjoyed sharing it with you, and I hope the video series has been useful to you as well. I'll see you next time.